Hello, it's just Robert here. Um, yeah, the main problem is that the tuning slide here is completely seized because these pipes here are no longer parallel because it's been dropped on this. Looks like the impact happened there. Um, these slides are no longer, these slides, that should slide out of there. That's no longer parallel, so therefore that won't move. It's completely seized solid. And you can see it's no longer parallel should be parallel with those, those three valves as well and this is the main area of damage here the tubing has been completely well completely distorted around there this little um solder on ferrule here has broken off as well that um i won't well i won't show you but it's just uh there are well i will <laughs> there we are that needs soldering back on um but that basically is um is elementary stuff uh so this is also very badly, the, re the reaction, the whole pipe has been pushed upwards that way uh, with the um, impact there and this has gone in a, a sort of curve there. So I think the only real um, chance I've got at straightening it out is to unsolder there, there, uh, there and there um, and remove the whole of this branch here. Um, and either straighten it out, and that involves filling it with melting molten lead um, to support it, um, and then straightening it, um, and then melting the lead out, cleaning it out thoroughly, and then pour, pour, uh, forcing a, a steel ball into this end, because um, it's tapered, it's conical, it starts, it's smaller there than it is here. So... Um, I've got a series of egg-shaped steel balls which have to be rammed in, um, tapped with a hammer around there da, 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 as, you, as you pass it through. That'll, of course, have to come off. Um, and to make the tubing round again that way. And then slightly smaller balls inserted up the bore progressively as we go around. You, they go down in gradations of a tenth of a millimetre because it's a very shallow curve a very shallow taper but basically that's what it entails um i'll load this up to youtube then send you a link um it's actually quite a lot of work i'm afraid um but um yeah i would say it's oh it's between it's about a hundred pounds worth of work also the the um the the bell is very badly damaged it's obviously at some point landed crunch on that as well in two places um that doesn't take much that's that's easy to sort out that's a you know i can just uh, do that pretty well in in about sort of that's about half an hour's worth of work anyway um if you want to go ahead with it um i'll keep i mean i'll re really keep costs down as much as possible um it's the sort of thing that I do for myself occasionally um, and I do for friends of mine who've actually got loved instruments that have had met with terrible accidents um, and um, they just don't want to write it off. It's the sort of thing that I would normally not, not bother doing. Here you can see how out of parallel that is now when we look in here. Yeah, slight parallax error there but it's it's about three or four millimetres smaller there than it is there. Um, yeah, it's the sort of thing that um, would be very difficult to price up. Um, and it's the sort of thing that most instrument repairers wouldn't even look at because it involves uh, so much heat. You know, it, it, there's four points that have to be heated up simultaneously. Well, here and here and here and here. Um, and the whole lot can become unsweated from there and then once once that's detached it can be straightened um worked out that the tubing here of course is also very very flattened as you can see it's uh, um but it is possible to, to completely reshape that and put it back to normal the only thing is it you'll always see where it's been done because we will probably lose silver plate because where you where you heat it and the silver plate tends to bubble off but it can, you can see areas like this, where the silver plate is off anyway in here, where it's been worked on before. But they are beautiful old cornets. I mean, they, they do sound so good. And they are, as you know, a fraction of the price. Um, 
buy a second hand one a fraction of the price of a new uh, sort of Chinese made one which won't last nearly as long and if you drop one of those you pretty well write it off instantly because the tubing is so thin and um, the components are so cheaply made these things are built like battleships anyway this is a rather lengthy explanation it's a five and a half minutes of me um, going on but that's my appraisal of what needs to be done and yeah I think it really is about a hundred pounds worth of work I mean you you can sometimes pick these up between you know a hundred and two hundred pounds second hand anyway so I don't know what you want to do about it but it's I just think it's a sort of slightly tragic thing that it's um that's been so badly damaged